Back at it. February the 18th, 2021. Let's get into it. Weather and sports. Now, right here, we're looking at the great state of Texas. And this video is going to be about the, uh, the weather storm in Houston that just came out of nowhere and all of a sudden hit and happened and people's wondering what's going on and the power grid went down and people lost their electricity and this came out of nowhere but we know that there was a lot of uh, predictive programming that was done to allude to the fact that this situation was going to happen and we see that uh it did happen in Texas. Uh, uh, energy crisis. The grid is down. You know, the electricity is out. You know, people are not knowing what to do. They're upset. They're afraid. All these kind of emotional... Uh, all these sort of uh, emotions are, are being stirred up and it goes with the uh, with the climate I guess with the with the weather and um, it's kind of funny because last month you know out of nowhere it came up that Deshaun Watson was wanting to be traded ASAP it's like damn he's trying to get out of Houston as soon as possible they drafted this guy he was in college and no, he lost the championship in college, or no, he won the championship in college with Clemson, and you know, he lost the Heisman. He didn't win the Heisman. That's what he lost. Uh, Lamar Jackson won the Heisman, and he won the uh, national championship. So uh, he got drafted by this team. You know, they they made him a professional football player, and all of a sudden he wants out. And I was looking at Deshaun Watson, and he wears number four. So we want to keep that number in mind because that that number is a uh, it's a code that he wears and it's, it's the four code. So we know 59 is the 17 prime number. 17 is the seven prime number and seven is the four prime number. So it, it goes all the way down to four, which is the square root of two. So then we go to another guy on the uh, Houston Texans team. His name is J.J. Watt. And he wants to be traded. He wants out of Houston all of a sudden. I think they drafted him too. And, you know, these guys want out. Right before the power goes down, the, the, the energy, the electricity. It just so happened, you know, the symbology, Watt, son, Watt, son. And Watt, like Watts. Okay, Alan Watts, like Watt. And the symbolism, and it's a lot of corny shit with the script. So we, we put their numbers together, 499, and we see 499 is the 95th prime number, and the, the mirror of that is 59, and we know it just had the 59th uh, United States presidential election, where they select a new uh, president, and we we know the uh, coordination with that, and everything is synced, politics, the sports, the weather. And, uh, you know, these people are into weather manipulation. Uh, you know, they're weather manipulators. And we see that weather manipulators is 95 and 2 ciphers. So we can see strategically that these people are planning these things with their script to uh, modify the weather, manipulate the weather. And... Just to make it clear, you know, people say Mother Nature. The, well, Mother Nature is not the weather, man. Like, when you say weather, that's one thing. Mother Nature, that's something different. That's like, that's two different things. Like, Mother Nature is the creator of the universe, the one that has set the weather, okay, from the cycles that persist on Earth. And they're set by the sun and the moon. The intercourse between the sun and moon determines the cycle and the weather. And it can be predicted and it can be mapped. And, you know, you have to be careful when you're using words because when you don't comprehend or use them correctly, you know, you'll be put under a spell of not knowing what you're talking about. Mother Nature is not the weather. Okay, when we talk about 
the weather, we're talking about the weather that was set by Mother Nature. Okay? And man and woman has a power to alter the weather. It just so happened that we're dealing with boys and girls here because we know the difference between a man and a woman and a boy and a girl, how they would present themselves and how they would conduct themselves. And we know that a boy or a girl is going to be very devious and very uh, disobedient at times. So we're dealing with that kind of frequency, the beast boy and the beast girl. And this is what they do. We just need to pay attention to what they're doing and just keep a record of it and keep enlightening each other to what they're doing and proving what they're doing to each other so that we can all be able to look at the same thing to where we're seeing the same thing. Because these people, they know how to uh, control perception through their scripting. 